dear students in the previous chapter you have learned about the solar system now you know that the planet earth on which we live is a member of the solar family the earth is not sphere it is slightly flattened at the poles and bulge in the middle to know how the earth looks you can look at a globe what is a globe globe is a true model of the earth means miniature form of the earth globes are of different shapes sizes and types some are very big which can't be carried easily others are small pocket globes and some are globe like balloons which can be inflated and are handy and carried very ease they can carry easily the globe is not fixed on the globe countries continents and oceans are shown it is difficult to describe the location of a point or a place on a sphere like the earth we need certain points of reference and lines to find out the location of place a needle is fixed through the globe in a tilted manner which is called its axis two points on the globe through which the needle passes are two poles north pole and south pole the globe can be moved around this needle from west to east just as the earth moves but the real earth has no such needle it moves around its axis which is an imaginary line what are latitudes first of all we will learn about equator what is equator equator is an imaginary circular line which runs on the globe dividing it into two equal parts okay what is equator an imaginary circular line which runs on globe dividing it into two equal parts the part to the north of the equator is called northern hemisphere and the part to the south of the equator is called the southern hemisphere both the parts are equal okay as equator divides it into two equal parts all parallel cir circles from the equator up to the poles are called parallel of latitudes so knowing what are parallel of parallels of latitudes all parallel circles from the equator up to the poles are called parallel of latitudes latitudes are measured in degrees the equator represents the zero degree latitude all parallels north of the equator are called north latitudes and in the same way all parallels south of the equator are called south latitudes the value of each latitude is therefore followed by either the word north or south okay beta important latitudes and heat zones beta here you can see one figure it is the figure of important latitudes and heat zones as now you are knowing that latitudes are measured in degree and the value of equator is 0 degree and you also know that equator divides the globe into two equal halves the upper part is southern hem hemisphere and the lower part is southern hemisphere in northern hemisphere you can see tropic of cancer okay the value of tropic of cancer is 23 and a half degree north and in the same hemisphere you can see arctic circle the value of arctic circle is 66 and a half degree north as it is in northern hemisphere 
and North Pole. The degree of North Pole is 90 degree north. And in the southern hemisphere, you can see Tropic of Capricorn. The value of this latitude is 23 and a half degree south as it is in southern hemisphere. And Antarctic Circle, the value of Antarctic Circle is 66 and a half degree south. Okay, and South Pole, the degree of South Pole is 90. Okay, on the same figure, you can see that different areas are colored with different colors. Let's learn about them. Okay, about the heat zones. But uh, as you know, the earth is spher spherical in shape. Therefore, different parts of the earth get heated differently. Based on the heat received from the sun, the earth is divided into three heat zones. First is torrid zone. You can see the area between the Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn. This area is termed as torrid zone. Torrid means very hot. Okay, so torrid zone is between the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn. Okay, this area receives the direct rays of the sun for almost the whole year. Therefore, this area gets the maximum heat. Yes, the second zone is temperate zone. Temperate means a climate which is not very hot and not very cold. It means moderate temperature. The area which receives the moderate temperature. Okay, clear beta? This zone lies between the Tropic of Cancer and Antarctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere and between the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere. This zone gets the slanting rays of the sun. As the angle of the sun's rays goes on decreasing towards the poles, this area has moderate temperature okay that's why this area is given the name temperate zone frigid zone this zone lie between the arctic circle and the north pole and between the antarctic circle and the south pole this zone is also called polar zone it receives the extreme slanting rays of the sun. The temperature is extremely low there throughout the year. Okay, so you are knowing the meaning frigid. Frigid means very cold. So this area is known as frigid zone. Thank you, beta.